Well, it's time for another video. I, uh, doing this pretty much out of boredom here. Anyway, I found this, uh, diamond antenna duplexer that I've had for a bunch of years as well, as long as, long as other stuff I've had. I've had this, uh, well, I bought this back in around 04 or so, 2004. I originally used this duplexer with a couple of ICOM uh, all-mode transceivers. One was a, uh, 251 Alpha, which is a 2 meter all mode, and a 451 Alpha, which is the 70 centimeter all mode. And I had this hooked up to the individual radios. One's got a uh, female N, and the other one's got a PL259, and the output side's got an SO239. But I ran this into a uh, dual band vertical, and figured why let's, let's just do a, a test to see how well this thing meets its published specifications it's uh, on the low pass side it uh, covers uh, 1.6 to 150 megahertz and has a published insertion loss of 0.15 db the high pass side goes from 400 megahertz to 460 megahertz where they published insertion loss of 0.25 db so we'll hook this up to uh, the signal generator and sweep it and uh, plot it out on the spectrum analyzer to see how well it does. Alrighty, I have everything hooked up. We've got uh, the high pass side on a terminator. Got uh, everything hooked up. Got, uh, duplex are all ready to go. All we got to do now is just set the gear. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the uh, signal generator. We're going to start a sweep, and we're going to start from uh, 1.6 megahertz. We're going to go to stop frequency of 150 megahertz. We're going to use a sweep time of uh, 200 seconds. I do that just to keep the step size nice and small so I get a nice smooth uh, plot on the on the analyzer. So we will set that for 200 seconds. Now, go over here to the spectrum analyzer. Oops, sorry about that. So now we will start with a frequency of 1.6 megahertz and a stop frequency of 150 megahertz and then we will uh, go to the trace section and turn the max hold on and now let's start the sweep here oh I guess it would help if I, uh, let's see, turn that back off. If I turn the RF output on, maybe that would help. <laughs> so, here we go again. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with some gas here. Hmm, I think I've got some problems here. Hold on. All right, had some minor technical problems. They're all uh, basically user problems. So here we go again. Let's start the sweep. And there's looks like there's a little bit of a dip there at the beginning. That's bizarre. But it is coming up. Slowly building, slowly building. Well, we're done. We have this, let's see here, let's turn the marker on. 
we have this significant dip right here. I mean, it's uh, down at least oh, almost 6 dB. This little part back here, it's uh, a remnant of the zero hertz feed through. So certainly, uh, see what? Yeah, it's boy, right there in six megahertz, and then it comes up and levels off. I don't know why that's why it's, it should be flat. That's just above the uh, 75 meter band there, so I'll have to. Uh, try another sweep with uh, different parameters but it's sort of within spec it's uh, about half a DB low for the most part across 150 megahertz of spectrum which I guess isn't all that bad I mean we got loss in the connectors and stuff so I think that uh, 0.15 DB insertion loss is uh, certainly not eh, well it might be cherry picking of certain frequency so uh, yeah so well, we'll just go on to the next one well I just re-swept the thing I uh, decided to narrow it down a bit more and I swept from 1.6 megs to 30 megs and it is certainly not meeting its you know the specs that it says my guess is that this wasn't really intended to be used on HF, but it can. I think the target frequency is uh, supposed probably going to be 2 meters and above, but would actually work on 6 meters and above. So let me set this up uh, again, and uh, we'll do a, uh, a sweep of 2 meters and see what happens. Well, as you can probably tell, it was really intended to be used on 2 meters and above on this uh low pass input because the uh, it's not quite within a quarter of a, of a or 0.15 dB but it's you know close enough you're not going to probably notice much at all on the S meter okay so now I think I'm going to do one more I think I'm going to go from uh, actually maybe two more uh, let's, uh, let's do one for uh, six meters and see what, how it looks well, I can already tell that it's, uh, yeah, six meters and above. So, it's uh, been pretty flat. I guess HF was thrown in as, uh, yeah, it'll work, but it's going to be, uh, you know, a few dB down. So, yeah, I, I think this is working pretty good so far. So, I'm going to do one more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sweep from, uh, uh, from six meters to 220, and uh, we'll see how that works. Well, gee, how about that? That's, uh, oh, cool. Let's turn the marker on here. So, yeah, we're only down by a little bit from 50 megs all the way to 220. Maybe lose about a little over a dB at, you know, on the 220 band. So that's interesting. You could use this all the way up there. So, okay, well, now that I'm done with this, I'm going to switch over to the connector and we'll go to the high pass side and we'll see where that takes us well there we go it's uh, pretty flat it's, uh, let's see here let's turn the marker on yeah it's still a little low but uh, that's probably because of my cabling adapters and everything else but uh, I mean yeah just slightly over half it you know about three quarters of a DB down uh, so yeah it's you know once again you're not going to notice that on S meter at all but that's pretty flat from uh, 460 to or from 400 to 460 okay I'm going to do another one let's uh, go to the next ham band above this which would be 33 centimeters 900 megs so let me sweep it from from 420 to 9, I think it's 925 or something like that. So, <laughs> well, hey, check it out. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens next. Okay, yeah, I had to get the band sheet out at uh, 900 megahertz, which is the 33 centimeter band, goes from uh, 902 to uh, 928. So, 
we've got everything set up, so let's uh, start the sweep and see what happens. Well, how about that? I think we pretty much reached the limit. I, I bet you I could go to the 23 centimeter band, but yeah, I, I think it get, start getting a little too lossy, especially with the uh, the SO239 connector that's on the end of that duplexer. But yeah, it's still it's still under a dB. Well, there it'll start dropping there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah, we're starting to get down to a couple of dB below uh, my minus 10 dB setting. I'm actually pretty surprised that this thing does as good as it does. So, interesting. So I think I might try a couple of things. I think I might do the coup de gras would be a uh, to do a couple of plots. Do uh, a plot from uh, 1.6 to... Uh, 225 megahertz and then another plot from 400 megahertz to uh, oh hell 1300 megahertz run them on a plotter and see what it looks like yeah well how do you like that 400 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz that is wow it only dropped what let's see here uh, a little over 4 dB so I guess that's not too bad. That's, uh, okay, that's cool. I guess that's worthy of uh, printing out on the plotter. So, hey, let's grab the camera here. Let's see. We have to go to the display and define hard copy plotter. Okay, it's all ready to go. So, go back and here we go. This one. Oops. Focus. Focus. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Now time for the next one. Well, <clears throat> I've been redoing some of these sweeps, and it looks like I had uh, a loose connector when I was doing the sweep on HF. Because uh, I just switched it over, and boy, it's pretty flat. There's no dips at all. So apparently I had a loose connector on that last sweep. But yeah, it's looking pretty good on HF. So I guess I'll have to take that back. It doesn't look like it's uh, got poor performance on HF. So anyway, I'll let this sweep finish and uh, I'll run it off on the plotter. All right, well, this one turned out just fine. It's uh, It definitely turned out to be uh, you know, really close. 10.04 dBm is the uh, the highest on the marker there, so I guess that was okay. So we'll uh, print this one out too. And uh, I'll 
plot. All right, so there we go. I guess the HF performance isn't so bad after all. Well, because of a loose connector. So anyway, I guess this uh, concludes this video. <laughs> it's a little long, but... Always got to have fun playing with the equipment. So, hope you guys liked it. Catch you next time. Well, here's the, the connector that was causing me some issues on HF. It, uh, it's a little on the oxidized side, so yeah. I guess it's either time to clean it or replace it, but yeah, don't let, uh, don't let these uh, crappy connectors uh, get your measurements messed up, because you'd definitely be taking home the retard cake if uh, you know, make some uh, bad, or bad uh, measurements from these things. But I've, this has uh, been in my collection for many, 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 many years. I'm not even sure when I got this thing, but, or, you know, I think this, I mean, this thing looks like it's decades old. So anyway, there you go. This was the culprit. After I'd uh, removed this and replaced it with a different one and redid the test, the, uh, the duplexer actually met, <laughs> met within specifications on HF. So, you know, lesson learned. There you guys go. Catch you later.